Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to use the small function. So the small function, the function argument, it basically just takes two arguments. Uh, this window is actually um, a window that gets brought up when you use the function insert function uh, icon here. Clicking here will bring up this window. This is just an image of it. But really the, the small function, it only takes two arguments. First is the array, or basically your list of items, and then the k value, which is the first smallest function, the second smallest function, the third smallest function. So that's how it basically works. Let's see it in action. So let's say that I have, I'm taking the place of these folks which have run a mile and there are different times that they completed running the mile. So maybe we want to look at see who's first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place, and uh, maybe sixth place. And we're looking for the smallest time, so not looking for something great. We're looking for the small, something small. So the smallest, smallest times wins. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put an equal sign and we put small, or just press the tab key to complete it. And our array is basically our list of values. And I'm going to go ahead and press the F4 key to lock those, to lock that range into place. So what happens is if if I double click the fill handle and I copy the values down, th this range will stay the same. It'll stay B2 to B17. It won't change. That's what the dollar signs do in front of it. It's, an, it's called an absolute cell reference. So the second argument I can put in is the K value. So I can, I can either type 1 and then go to the next one and type 2 and 3 and 4, or since I've already had the values here, I can just reference this cell. And once I reference this cell, I'll just go ahead and close put a closing parenthesis there. Once I reference this cell here, when I copy it down, that cell, the second, an E5 here, that will become D5, and this will become D6, D7, D8. So let me go ahead and press Control Enter. It will execute this function and stay in the same cell. And I can just double click the fill handle to bring it down. And you'll notice now it's D5, D6. And what has happened now, it's brought in the first smallest value. So the first smallest value is 8 minutes and 43 seconds, which is here. And then the second smallest value is 9 minutes and 7 seconds, which is down there. And so that's what it does. So there's the small function. So it can be used in a situation, an example, where maybe you wanted to chart out the fastest times for something. And this, in this case, it's the fastest times for folks that ran the mile. Uh, and you wanted to run it to the second place, or the fourth place, sixth place, tenth place. So you can use a small function to calculate that out. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.